a common question we get um, is how do I parameterize login macros? I'll show you this uh, through this workflow. We'll start with the, the basic scan wizard um, and we'll navigate to record a login macro. So the first step is to record that, that full login macro. Um, this is our sample app. So I'll navigate uh, through this application, record my username and my password. And for this app, the username and the password are both username and password. So once I've recorded that, um, I'll then stop this macro, um, play it back. This will um, prompt me to provide some uh, positive uh, confirmation that we've logged into the application properly. Um, I'll go ahead and select the account activity um, tab here. And then WebInspect will detect um, a logout condition. Once that's, that logout condition is detected, the macro is complete. Now we'll add our parameters. So I know I want to create a parameter for the username and the password fields um, uh, for this login macro. I'll go ahead and name um, that parameter. I'll just name it my username parameter. We'll need to remember this because we'll use this later. Uh, I'll enter initial value here. That value would actually be the username uh, in most situations. Um, I'll also provide a password parameter. Again, the value for this would be uh, password. Um, I'll go back and forth just to make sure that those uh, values are set here. I think in this scenario, uh, I didn't save that. So I'll go ahead and enter that uh, value for the username parameter and then click OK. Now these parameters are globally available in the login macro. We just need to tell um, uh, this login macro where these parameters uh, need to be used. So I'll click OK, save those off. And I know that I need to use these parameters in my uh, sign-in step to, to, as uh, parameters for my username and password. So if we drill into the sign-in step, you'll see I have a username um, option here. Um, and uh, as I drill into that argument, I'll find the value. The little drop down to the right provides you the ability to select a parameter name. So I named that parameter earlier, um, my username parameter. I'm sorry, yeah, my username parameter should be entered here. Um, I did the same thing for a password. I created a password parameter. So I'll navigate to where that value is entered. I'll change it from a value to a parameter uh, and I'll enter in um, my password parameter uh, in this box. Uh, at this point, WebInspect will take these values out of, out of the parameter and use them so I can um, uh, out of the initial value and use them. So I'll play this back and you'll see WebInspect will enter in those initial values that I entered. So you can see over on the, on the right screen. Um, uh, I'll go in. There's one other way to create um, a parameter. You can use JavaScript. This is more flexible, gives you the ability to append different options to be um, pretty extensible. Um, you'll use tc.getParamName. Um, you will then replace um, the name and string pair with uh, my, password uh, my password parameter, so the name of that parameter that you created in the password field. I could do the same for the username uh, piece as well. Uh, so with this done, I'll save this macro off, uh, and then you'll see that these values get passed in uh, to uh, the WebInspect configuration screen so that you can um, enter in custom values uh, to avoid having to uh, record uh, new login macros every time your credentials change. Uh, keep in mind, this could be used for URLs. It could be used for all kinds of different uh, values. There's a lot more power in this uh, than just uh, what we're showing here. This is just kind of an introduction to using uh, parameters uh, inside of uh, WebInspect login macros. Thanks.